Ah, hello, everybody. Hello, Pam. It's so nice to see you. Hello. Hey. Hello, hello. Hey there. Let me see if my camera's working. Hold on. Oh. Oh, Jilly's. <laughs> Everybody's joining me. This is great. Hi, hello, Tom. hello, hello, hello. So nice um, to see you. Thank you. Thank you. Good. All uh, right. So people are joining us. Um, Peter's watching you on Facebook. Good. Good. So now um, um, we'll ask you to um, put on mute because I'm going to start talking soon. All right. So um, first of all, thank you very much for joining me this evening. It's been a while that I've been uh, doing this because we have moved to a new apartment. So we had a problem. Uh, getting a Wi-Fi, so a long time we had to um, be only with um, only be uh, be. Tell you muted yourself. Uh -uh. Is that okay? Is that okay? Now you can. All right. Hello, Kathleen. Good evening. All right, so um, because I didn't have internet, I couldn't do uh, the, this live broadcasting, and, uh, but many, many, um, many of you approached me and said, hey, come back, do this, it's fine, you know, in the evening. Or United States is um, lunchtime, I think. So it's, uh, it's a good opinion, opportunity to, um, uh, to get together. Yes, Helen? Oh? <laughs> uh, Helen is trying to, uh play um okay 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 they can see you <laughs> <laughs> right so um the reason i wanted to talk to you about this um um all right okay okay thank you thank you i'm i'm i'm, I'm okay i'm okay now right <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Noam. Um, um, okay, so the subject today that I want to talk to you about the counting, and I wrote it in the in, in the invitation that a few um, weeks ago we went to a, a restaurant and we ordered wine as we usually do, and the waiter came and he said, um, um, "Would you like to decant the wine?" And I look at the guys and they said. Um, And, um, okay, um, can, can you see me now? I'm, I'm um, yeah, okay. Um, so anyway, now I think all the problems with the technology is over. Um, so the waiter came, bottle of red wine, and he asked, would you like to decant the wine? And I said to him, um, and everybody was looking at me, what do I say? And everybody, well, if the waiter said, uh, he asked us, means that we need to decant. And I said, just a minute, why automatically you think it's, um, you need to decant the wine? Uh, so then I asked me, when do we need to count the wines and how long do we need to decant the wines? Which wines do we count and what kind of decanters are they? So I said, okay, I'll make a session out of it and I'll explain. So, why do we need to decant wines? There are actually two reasons why do we need to decant wine. The first one is a physical reason. Um, some of the old wines are getting, when they get older, mature, they have sediments, they have uh, solids in the wine. Now, it's not like we see rocks, but you see it's kind of like sand, red sand inside the bottle. Usually if the bottle is lying down like that in your cellar or in your fridge, you'll see it on the bottom here. And this is actually kind of a uh, color crystals that are coming from the uh, pigmentation of the wine uh, that is uh, with, um, after a while, they get together, they form kind of crystals, and it's like sand. Now, it's not uh, 
it does nothing to do with your health. You can drink and, and it's fine, but it's not nice. I mean, when you look at it, it's not nice. It's like you see sand. And if you drink it, you feel like you, you have sand in your mouth. So it's not nice to drink wine with sediments. So what do you do? You need to separate the liquid from the solid. Now, how do you do that? But before I'll explain how do you do that, there is another reason why do you need to decant the wine. And the other reason that you need to decant the wine is when the wine is just too young. And you get a bottle of red wine and it's too young, means a lot of tannins. I'll explain later what is all the tannins about the wine. Sometimes you feel the, the flavor or the aroma of the sulfates, the sulfites that you have in the wine, you need to air it out. And sometimes, even sometimes you drink a wine and you feel like it's bubbly when it shouldn't be bubbly. So that's the re three reasons that you need to air or uh, decant uh, a young wine. So now I'm going back to the old wine. If you have a dinner party and you think about it in advance, you go to your wine cellar or you go to your wine cabinet and you look what you want to uh, serve with this amazing uh, dinner that you're going to do. And then you take out a nice Bordeaux or a nice Italian, even a nice Spanish wine. And you look at it and you see it had all these sediments. Now, if the dinner is, uh, let's say, on Friday or Saturday, you need these few days to take the bottles and from this position, put it so all the sediments will go down to the bottom of the bottle. This, if you have a few days, slowly, you just put the, the wine uh, in, in like that outside. It doesn't have to be anymore in the wine cabinet or in the cellar, or you can leave it in the cellar if you have a cellar. And, um, and you just leave it like that. So all the sediments go down to the bottom of the bottle. And then when the times come and the dinner is, um, is there an hour, sometimes two hours, I'll tell you when, uh, when is the right time? Before you want to serve the wine means that if you start as an aperol at seven and um, the main course with the red wine will be only at nine o'clock, you need at least two hours before that. You take the bottle and you decant it into a nice vase. Now there are some different kind of decanters. If you have an old bottle, too much oxygen, oxygen is not good for the wine. The only reason you want to decant it is to separate the solids from the liquid. And you don't want to expose the, the, the wine to too much oxygen. So what do I mean? If you need a big decanter like that, so the wines, when you pour it, it's over here, it has a lot of exposure to air. This is not good for old wines. This is good for young wines, but not for old wines. So I would just bring it to this kind of um, decanter with the Shen logo, which is a nice uh, decanter. And then the, the, um, uh, the contact with the air is not that big. Otherwise, Old wines are very delicate, and when you expose them to a lot of wine, they can die easily. They will oxidize easily. So you need them to settle down, and you need them to relax, but not to expose to a lot of uh, air. Um, if you have big wines, like Nebbiolo, Syrah, Cabernet, uh, you need to let it two hours, sometimes three hours, to rest in the decanter. What about Pinot Noir? Pinot Noir, no, because Pinot Noir, even if it's an old wine, um, is a very delicate one. So better from the bottle to the, the, um, to, uh, the glasses. And even if the wine is a bit close and, and you think you need to, to let it stay, better in the glasses, not in a decanter. So it's not every red wine. 
you need to know which one to decanter. So Pinot Noir or even Gamay, I wouldn't do that, but Cabernet, um, Nebbiolo, Syrah, yes. Someone asked me sometimes about Madeira. Madeira, I have a kind of a, for every 10 years that the Madeira is old, you need one day to decant it. One day, one full day for the Madeira wine. So if you have a Madeira for 20 years, better stay in a decanter for two days, slowly. It will oxidize and will be ready to drink. So if you have uh, a, an old bottle you took from your cellar, you want to decant it. But what happened if you are in the middle of um, uh, a dinner and then one of the guests said, oh, bring another wine. And you go to your cellar and you pick a nice, 1975 or 1989 bottles, an old wine with a lot of sediments. You cannot just put it up like that because then all the crystals, the, all the sands will be inside the, in, in, in a mess. So what you do, you keep it like that, you keep it lying down and slowly like that, you open the cork, you, you take out the cork and slowly you decant it into the decanter. You do it really slowly sometimes because the bottle is dark and you cannot see when the sediments can start go out. You need a candle or at least a flashlight of a telephone in the modern time. But they used to do it with a candle. They used to lit a, lit a candle. So they put the candle here so they can see the, the, the neck of the bottle. And when they can see, they saw that uh, the sediments are coming they put the bottle aside and they left all the sediments inside the bottle not to serve it. So this is with old wine. Now what happened with wine, young wines? Sometimes we buy amazing wines, wines that are aged maybe 12 months, sometimes 18 months, sometimes two years in oak barrels. They are full of tannins. Tannins, this is the, the, the um, this is uh, uh, their are um, acids that you have in the wine um, that, that um, when you drink it and the wine is young, you feel like um, you ate uh, um, maybe a, a banana that was not ripened yet or a parsimon, a parsimon that was really early and you feel like something in your mouth is not nice. So this means this wine has a lot of tannins and you need to let the wine rest. To let the wine rest or to let the wine breathe, you need to decant it. So you take this wine, young wine and you just um, uh, decant it into a big decanter. This is one of the um, uh, decanter that I, I show you. I'll show you another decanter that I like it very much. It's called the Swan with a long neck like that. So you fill the wines from here, you let it sit here with uh, a lot of air, and then you just pour it into the glass like that, and you have a lot of contact with the oxygen. That's why the, the, um, what happened, the, the young wine, red wine, suddenly get oxidized, it's open, all the taste and all the aromas are coming out. Because when the, young, when the wine is too young, it's closed. You smell the wine and you don't have nothing. When you let it rest and you let it breathe and you let it get contact with air, then it's like a flower, it's open. And then you can smell it and you can taste it and all the, all the flavors are coming out. Um, you need to do it with uh, white, uh, with young, young wines and to let it again, it depends what the grape variety, but usually one hour before serving, sometimes two hours, but not too much. Also, more oxygen, more oxygen, it will kill the wine. So you don't want it for a long time. Um, what else? What kind of decanters? I, I showed you uh, a few decanters. Now there is a decanter that does a rapid job. You take, it's like um, something that you put on top. I don't have it with me, but you put it on top of, uh, you hook it into the, the, the neck and when you pour the wine, it's uh, turn around, it's get uh, contact with the uh, air 
and then straight to um, the glass. This is what we call um, a, a rapid um, decantation. Is it good for the wine? Well, sometimes you don't have a choice and you need that because the wine is um, too young, it's very, uh, very tannic, and, and when you smell the wine, you don't smell anything. But for me, I prefer, you know, wine is, is a slow process, always a slow process. Wine is a, like a, 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 a very slow things uh, in the winery, in the vineyard, everything is slow about wine. You need sometimes 10, sometimes 20 years to, to, um, uh, to uh, let the wine be, um, get to its uh, full, uh, full potential. And by doing that, I think sometimes it's too violent. It's like pushing air into the wine. It's like trying to bake in a microwave. It will be a cake eventually, but not the same as slowly in the oven. So um, I usually don't like these rapid things. And sometimes you can put this also in the glass. And when you pour the wine here, it will get in contact with um, the air and it will oxidize the wine. That's another gadget that we have here at home. So this is the two reasons why you need to decant the wines. Wine, one, because it's too old and you want to get rid of the sediments. Second, it's too young. And usually most of the wines today are filtered quite well at the winery. So you don't have a lot of sediments. Only wines from maybe 20, 30, 40 years ago, you'll find these uh, heavy sediments. Today, more and more because of the advanced technology, the winery released the wines with nice filtering. So even after 20 years, the, the wine is still um, crystal clear and you don't have a lot of uh, sediment in the wine. So now I finish my big lecture and I will uh, try to unmute everybody. So um, if someone wants to, oh, know that. Uh, someone wants to ask me a question. How do I unmute? Oh, I have a question. Oh, yes, yes, please. And you were talking about the sediment with yes. the older wines. Why do some of the newer wines have sediment in them? Or maybe I'm just buying really bad wines. <laughs> Well, um, when you filter the wine, as, as much as you filter the wine, you take a lot of the flavors and the, the, the character of the wines, of the dates. So many, uh, some, not many, but some wineries prefer not to filter it so much. So you have in the wine more character, more body, more taste, but then you will see that you have the sediments. As I said again, it's fine. Some of the best wine in the world have sediments, but you don't want to drink the sediments. You don't want to serve it in the glass. So you just decant it, as I explained. Right. Okay. Makes sense. Yes. Thank you. Anyone else? Question, question, question. So um, if not, uh, I will tell you that um, I came back to do these uh, sessions in English. I do one in Hebrew for um, um, my friends in Israel uh, an hour before, and and every seven, uh, every every almost every day. It's not going to be every day, but every almost every day at seven o'clock London time, which in some part I think it's one o'clock in the United States, something like that. Pam, what's the time at your? It's yeah? two o'clock on the East Coast. Two o'clock in the east. Okay, so um, always a good time to open a bottle of wine, and um, so I'm going to do it every day. So if you have suggestions, uh, ideas, requests uh, for things that you want me to talk about, please send it to me by messenger or by email or by WhatsApp, whatever. And um, I'm going to do. I'm going to have some. Uh, um, um, subject line off. I'm going to speak like, this is, I think maybe will be surprising. I'm going to speak about Egyptian wine uh, because nobody knows 
Um, no, not uh, a lot of people know that the Egyptian makes wine. Um, so Noam, did you taste Egyptian wine lately? No, never? So I'm going to talk about Egyptian wine. I'm going to about um, um, Lebanese wine. I'm, I would like to talk about Cyprusian wine or uh, any other wines that you want me to talk about. And of course, subject about wines. It doesn't have to be like a um, special uh, country or uh, Austrian or something like that. And we'll talk also a lot about tasting wines. When I taste Cabernet Sauvignon, what should I get when I taste Pinot Noir or, or Syrah or, or Sauvignon Blanc or Chenin Blanc? What's the flavor I should get and how to taste it in a professional way? Uh, so many, many, um, many, many things to, to talk about. I have a question on Facebook. Oh, who? Yes. Anna. 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 Do you ever use or should you ever use a coffee filter to get rid of sediment in wine? Oh, good question. Do you use a coffee filter to get rid, rid of uh, sediments of wine? Yes, actually any filter can do. Um, you know, the, the wines that used to be with the most sediments ever are the port, port wines, because port wines used to age and used to, they used to uh, um, almost bottom them straight from the barrel. Um, so they used to have a lot, a lot of sediments. So they did special um, filters for them. But any anything that is clean without any residues of water or residues of food or something like that can do the job. Um, that's it, because I cannot see at the moment uh, questions from Facebook. So if you have any question, I'll be more than happy to answer after. Uh, I'll say good night, keep safe, stay at home until things will change for better. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow, same time, right? Ciao, bye-bye, shalom. Bye. Bye.